Yoo-hoo. It's Sex Bergs and Junior right here giving you my review of the parking lot brawl from AEW Dynamite from the other day featuring best friends Trent and Sexy Tucky T and versus Santana and Ortiz in a violent, violent match which was surrounded by cars with symbolism, you know, because they destroyed Sue's minivan, her delightful minivan that looked like it could, could have taken so many children to school if schools were open. I'm not sure how... That's going down right now, but, you know, in your neck of the woods, but still, it was violent, it was amazing, I wanted to dip my fries into Trent's back, because it was so bloody, it looked like it was covered in ketchup, and it was so, like, Santana and Ortiz, they were, it had that ghouly makeup on, I know it's from some movie called Dead Presidents, i never seen that movie, they look like ghoulies, they scared the hell out of me, and I jumped behind my couch, and I, I, the, the one thing missing from this whole debacle was I wish they would have had Sue on a forklift, much like Judy Bagwell. Can you just imagine that? But it didn't happen. But instead, we did get her flipping us off, and we had Orange Cassidy coming out of a trunk, which is something I personally would do. I would come out of a trunk. I wouldn't put Orange Cassidy inside of a trunk. That'd be terrible. That'd be mean. I would never do that to amazing Orange Cassidy. I want to drink a mimosa now. But that was an amazing match from Dynamite. And five, six and a half stars. I don't care what David Metzl said about five. I'm giving it six and a half. Take that, young bucks and Kenny Omega and Hangman Page. Yes. But this is Sex Perkins Jr. out. You have a good one. Bye-bye.